Now, here at home, a big step in the race to find that vaccine in Canada. Quebec-based Medicago becoming the first this week to begin clinical trials on humans. For more on this and what comes next, I'm joined by Natalie Landry, Executive Vice President of Scientific and Medical Affairs at Medicago. Good morning to you, Natalie. Good morning. So no doubt there's a lot of pressure here. Uh, as we heard, number of candidates around the world looking to get that coveted vaccine. But I think uh, what's, when we put things into perspective, there are so many things that go on between now and finding that 100% cure. So let's begin where you are now, and that is in phase one of clinical trials. What does that mean exactly, and what does it entail? So a phase one is about security of the vaccine. So we want to make sure that the vaccine is safe, but we also look at the immune response induced by the vaccine. At this point in time, we don't know which dose of the vaccine uh, will induce the proper immune response. So we're looking at different doses of the vaccine. We also evaluate two adjuvants. So an adjuvant is a substance that will stimulate the immune system in the body. And, and this is what we screen in phase one. So we uh, plan enrolling 180 volunteers and, and we plan that the study will provide results at the end of September. And Natalie, with those volunteers, what does the breakdown look like, male, female and ages? So it's male and female, as you mentioned, they're LT subject and they're age 18 to 55 years of age. So once we will have results from that phase one and we know that the vaccine is safe, we will be able to select what looks like the most promising dose and, and treatment. And we will move into a phase two trial where the objectives are the same. So it's about safety and immune response induced the subject. But in a phase two, uh, we will enroll older adults and we will enroll elderly population and people with comorbidity to really make sure we have selected the right treatment option. So the phase two is planned to start around October and will provide results around end of December this year. And then we will be able to engage into the very last trial uh, that is required to make the vaccine available to the public. So it's a phase three and the phase three aims at proving that the vaccine is effective. So this is really the last step and we are um, we hope to uh, be able to launch that phase three uh, in January next year. We're watching some of the visuals here uh, provided by Medicago. This is a plant based vaccine. So how does that differ from some of the other uh, developers right now? It's, it's pretty unique. So we use plants as many factories and they're very quick at producing doses. So uh, we started in, in March and in May we already had preclinical results. So and, and one thing that is particular about the plant system is that they produce virus like particles. So what does that mean is that the plants, they have their way of assembling the antigen that will uh, be administered to humans in a way that it looks like the virus but it's not infectious, so you cannot get any disease or symptom from the vaccine. But your immune system will see that like a virus and will raise a good immune response. Natalie, a lot of people are asking the questions about what are the, some of the side effects that could potentially be seen by these trials? You know, in general, vaccines are very safe. So um, it, it, there could be some pain at injection. Nobody likes to have a needle in the arm. But in general, there are very few side effects. And, and this is what we're monitoring during phase one. Uh, looking at a really ambitious timeline here, but no doubt you don't want to rush things. Uh, what has no. the communication been like with our federal government and support? Very, very good. And, and um, everybody would un understand that we're trying to achieve in 18 months what normally re would, requires, uh, would require five to six years. So, of course, uh, you can only do that if you have a constant communication with the regulators. So normally they have a certain time to turn around uh, the information we provide to them. And there's a constant uh, um, exchange with the regulators so we can they can see live or in timely fashion how we produce the vaccine, how we test the vaccine, what are the results from the preclinical testing, what are the results from the clinical trial. So we're really working in collaboration. Natalie, we thank you for all the work that you're doing. Obviously, a lot of people will be watching very closely, and we do hope a vaccine is Canadian-made. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome.